is actually quite hard to do when you're a beginner. Um, it's quite nice, but I'm tired right now. <laughs> Very tired. But if you put on your effort, it's worth it. The reason why I took up swimming because um, it was like an interesting sport that I really wanted to do. And I really enjoyed it. I think it was pretty fun and I'm pretty happy for my results. I think um, try to keep your momentum and just keep on going the whole time. Juri Bardenos, the vice president of NASFED, spoke about the gala, its successes and swimming as a whole in Namibia. This is the third of, of five and the last one for for 2021, um, we are, uh, this, none of this would at all be possible without uh, the support of, of Bank Vintuk. He's been such a great supporter of, of, of swimming um, for, for many a year, and I think we, we, we are very appreciative of, of, of that. Um, after this, um, the season comes to an end, swimmers will go into holidays, so hopefully keep on training. And then next year we will start with uh, two more long course galas and we'll have our long course nationals in March. I think swimming is doing very well, all things considered. Um, I mean, we've, we've, uh, we all know about what we've gone through in the last year and a half or two years almost now. Um, but, but that having been said, I think our, our, we've got a, a great management in, in, in our clubs, we've got great members. Um, there's some real talent out there currently. Uh, we have uh, various swimmers overseas, youngsters coming through. Uh, the federation is doing is doing well. So I don't think we can complain. Um, obviously, uh, the sponsorships remain a challenge, but but I think that's par for the course uh, in all sporting federations. Nasfes president Eileen Buota was pleased with the turnout and the competitive spirit of the young and old swimmers. The next Bang Venduk Long Course Gala will take place in January 2022.